brave amigos are we. Welcome back to this, uh, already the final segment of today's Price for Business. Time goes fast when you're having fun, and I certainly did. Could have spent some time uh, on this final segment with our three AM egos today. Marshall Lambeth sitting in for Sigmund Kramer, who I have no idea where he is. And uh, Dan Shedd, he is, of course, intern, and uh, we're not quite sure what else he does, but uh, we know he brings interesting topics. Topics like today's topic, to be sure. What do you got for us today, Dan said? Well, a restaurant in London has a hamburger that costs you $1,768 to eat. Yeah, this is London, England. Yes. Yeah, so I, I, I've been told that prices have gotten really ridiculous in London. I had no idea they got that high. What? <laughs> Tell me why a hamburger like this would cost that much. Yeah, well, according to Huffington Post, which brought me this wonderful article, the burger has lobster, beluga caviar, venison, a duck egg, and an edible gold leaf. Edible what? An edible gold leaf. Okay. And what website did you find this on? Huffington Post. Huffington Post. Well, and it's the world's most expensive hamburger. Uh, why don't you go ahead and weigh in on this uh, uh, over there, Marsha? Uh, I thought kale was the new big thing. I didn't know gold leaf was the new big thing. Gold that, leaf. And mad cow disease. I thought that might be what drove the price up on a hamburger. I don't know. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, kind of crazy. Because the rest of the ingredients don't really add up to much, I don't think. But I'm sure beluga caviar is probably a little bit on the high side there. But a duck egg and venison, I can do venison for you for cheap. I, I just don't know. If, yeah, that's the stuff people get because they can't afford real food. <laughs> I remember when I was in college, I was so poor. And my, my employer realized how poor I was. You know, I was a father... Uh, my wife and I had two kids, and I was going to school full time. Only had, I mean, like 21 hours a semester, and I didn't have time to, uh, you know, uh, work more than 20 hours a week, barely getting by. And he was an avid hunter, and he would, he would just, he would just bring me, uh, he would just bring me food, venison. Yeah, he brought me, he brought me venison. He felt sorry for me, but they're trying to sell it for seventeen hundred dollars. That's, That's just crazy. ridiculous. Are people buying this, Dan said? Um, the website unfortunately doesn't say if people are, you know, actually buying That's it stupid. or not. <laughs> Does anybody but, know what gold tastes like? I don't know what gold tastes like, but I, um, I mean, this, this burger obviously does not sound appetizing to me. I would just rather have <laughs> a regular hamburger with cheese on it. Still can't beat a water burger. Yeah, I don't know. Have you ever had a Mighty Burger? Oh no, I've never had that. Mighty Burger here on the uh, west side of uh, Houston is unbelievable. It's cheaper than Whataburger. Um, cheaper. Made with that same kind of style of quality, like you would have in your parents' kitchen. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's better. It, mm-hmm. It's decidedly better. Well, I'll try that before I do the seventeen hundred dollar burger. Oh, I would. You can get your whole meal for less than five bucks at uh, <laughs> at Mighty Burger. And it is mighty. And, and by the way, this thing is called a glam burger. Mm. And to me, I'm, I'm thinking this is pure publicity stunt. What do you guys think? I think so. Has to be. But here's yeah. the question, though. Who's the restaurant that has this burger? Uh, yeah. It is a restaurant called Honky Tonk in London, England. Honky Tonk. Honky well... Tonk. It is a, uh, it's ridiculous, and thanks for bringing us another ridiculous story. <laughs> that appears to be your fate in life, is to bring us ridiculous stories. Brought to you, uh, Dan Shedd and Marshall Lambeth and yours truly, Kevin Price, and uh, we'll be back with you on tomorrow's show. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you check us out at usdailyreview.com while they're like it on Facebook and follow it on Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, but spend it wisely right here on this station. Portions of today's program brought to you by Krasny Law Firm, not by Mighty Burger. <laughs>